Hi, welcome to my demonstration of St Ives Bay. I'm Jenny Aiken, and you can see the article associated with this demo in the August copy of the Artist magazine. So, we're going to start with my brushes. I use a medium filbert, a round brush and a rigger, pretty much for everything. So I start, I do most of the painting with my size 6 filbert. I'm going to sketch out the bones of the painting first. I've omitted some of the elements from the original photograph to make the composition simple and using angles of the boats and the elements including that point of interest there between the building and the rock I create a flow around the painting. So I've started from the most distant shadows and I'm gradually warming them up as I move through the midground to the foreground. I've just loosely brushed in the houses and the boats. I don't want to pull the detail off the path or make anything too hyper-realistic. If I keep things loose, the painting keeps moving. So now I'm going to put in these lighter mid-tones, starting from the back. Keeping them nice and grey to bring that illusion of depth which again draws the eye into the composition. So as I've come closer the colours have warmed up and the lights I'm using there are still tinted with warm colours, cadmium red, cadmium yellow. So I've just mixed some phthalo blue and ultramarine blue and white to put in my water there. And as it heads away from the light to the left, there's more ultramarine blue. It's cooler. Which again draws the eye towards the light into the painting. So I've wiped clean and I'm now going to use my round brush for a bit more detail. Very loosely, adding in the flecks of low light, which is a mix of titanium white, red, yellow, tiny touch of ultramarine blue just to grey it down a little. That foreground boat, I've exaggerated the size of it to help draw the eye in. And it makes you feel as though you're rushing round to the right of it. Towards that light and then round. 
towards the little gap between the rock and the buildings in the background. So now I'm going to use my little rigger, I'm going to load it up with paint. I'm using titanium white and yellow. And I'm just adding tiny details along the edge of the eye path, which means I'm very loosely telling you where I want your eye to go around this painting. I'm just going to loosely paint in some of those details on the buildings in the back and then I'm going to knock back the distant headland because I want to emphasize that area between the rock and the buildings because that's where your eye is, is heading for. And there we go, a happy little sketch in acrylic of St Ives Bay. Thanks for watching!